And hopefully it doesn't look like it's raining quite as hard. Great fastball right there by Paulette. Looks, let that pitch go by. And the day begins with a strikeout for Peyton. Bats. Back to Paulette. Off the mound to get it. Quickly two down. Yeah, one thing that Paulette really two strikes. And Paulette starts and ends the first inning with a pair of strikeouts. One more thinks is hoping that's going to happen with him again for this season. Robert Moore goes first pitch swinging and slaps a base hit past the second baseman. Hogs off and rolling with a first pitch single from the sophomore. Rio to Franklin. How about a four pitch walk. Hogs are. That one slow and breaking off the plate and burns. Does keep the Hogs off the board in the first. He said that he'd like to stretch Paulette out maybe up to 80. That's a fair ball past the diving Smith. Webb cutting it off short of the corner. But standing up at second is Tanner Booth. The Murray still. But you put about <laughs> three pairs of sleeves, I'll tell you that. That was a walk right there by Peyton Paulette, kind of losing that release point just a little bit. It's hit hard and into center field. Booth will be waved around, and Franklin will not throw home. Yeah, you got to remember that baseball is going to be wet. Anything hit to the outfield, even with a catcher like Booth out there on second base, is going to score. Great job right there by Perkins. I like his approach. Watch how short that swing is. That's no stride by Perkins. Never picked up that front foot and just slapped that ball right back through the box. And, yeah, really no cost the racers. On the ground to short, Battles unable to come up with it. Bases loaded. Right-handers 1-2, got him looking. Another strikeout, his seventh of the day, but for Moore ahead 3-0. Draws a four-pitch walk. Well, interesting uh, first two plate appearances for Robert. First bit difficult time picking that baseball up. Back-to-back -back walks, and Arkansas has got something brewing here in the third. Burns has walked four already today. Has been since about 30 minutes before first pitch. Goodhart guiding this one into right field for a base hit. Moore stopping at third. Nate Thompson throwing up the stop sign for him. Yeah, off the bat, Robert Moore didn't know if that ball was hit at the second base. Waits on that one and sends it down the line in right. Anderson over to make the catch near the corner. All three runners tag, all will advance. Moore scores, we're tied at one. Again, really excellent at bat by Caden Wallace. This inning was just giving up one run. Opitz, first pitch swinging, hits a fly ball to right. Anderson back, he's on the track, and doesn't make the catch. Two run score, Opitz headed for third. Three to one, Razorbacks. That ball kept carrying, and it looked like Anderson had it under control, and then at the last minute realized it was off to his right. Yeah, you can see the third. Yeah, this this ball, you see him go back and find the wall and then just loses his footing. And Goodhart cruising in and scoring a pair of runs, both Franklin and Goodhart scoring pitches. Battles, left center field. Slunder sliding grab to close the inning. Great catch by the Cabot native, but the Hogs get three in the third. Three. Woosley gets it past the diving Robert Moore. One out single for the Murray State for on a hurry. Runner going. Ball four low. Two on. Pacers. Slunder though drops one into left field. Woosley being waved around. Throw to the plate is cut off. It's a three to two ball game. Jake Slunder, the Cabot native, driving in a run in his home state. Yeah, really good job to stay on that breaking ball by Paulette. You as a super senior. Swing and a miss. Got him with a fastball at 91. That might close the day for Peyton Paulette. Good to have more fun than anyone else in the whole field. Can't quite get to that one. Jordan Cozart has a one-out single. Haven't been out there yet. Brock Anderson getting into one. High and deep and gone to right field. Murray State has the lead. That ball's absolutely juiced by Brock Anderson. That was a no-doubter. I think 
Caden Wallace took about two steps and just stopped to see how far that ball was going to travel. For Anderson, his third of the season. And that's the thing, you got some of these guys, these big bodied left handed hitters for the Racers. That ball's absolutely crushed. It's going to go past the light pole out there in right field, hit about 420. A little bit inside, ball four. I think it might have been down as well, too. Not going this time, and Woosley lines it to deep right. And that ball clears the fence. Two-run home run, Trey Woosley. And it's 6-3, to three, Murray State. That ball was absolutely scorched by Woosley. Again, the racers having a big inning. A single and then a home run, then a walk and a home run. The ball's up in the zone. You can see Woosley stay on top of that, almost tomahawk that ball out to right field. And you can see Wallace, he's trying to see is that ball gonna hit off the fence and it just completely carries out of the park. You can see the emotion out of Trey Woosley and the whole entire racer. That's hit hard and into center. Razorbacks have their fourth hit of the afternoon. There's more. Jacking one. Deep right. Get out of here, ball. Hogs are within one. There's your spark. There's the spark. A lot of pop out of that bat from Robert Moore. Took the first pitch breaking ball, saw the fastball that he wanted, and absolutely hammered it. We've seen a pair of home runs from the racers, and that's why you're always in a ball game when you're a team with power. And you can see him stay behind that baseball. He knew it when he hit it. He just wanted to see how far was that going to go. Grade A bat flip as well. Second homer of the season for Moore. Here's the 2-2. Casey sticks the bat out and keeps it fair down the line. He's headed for second and in standing with a two-out double. And what an outstanding job of hitting right there by Casey Open. 3-2. Walked him. Good quality at bat right there by Cullen Smith. Off the catcher's glove. Runners move up. That could be big. Good here. Fastball, swing, and a miss, and that's the inning. Hog strand the tying and go ahead runs in scoring position. Lander. Costio here in the eighth, and he hands out a one out walk. Yep. Just missed, ball four. And 3 1 pitch. Walked him, bases loaded. Yeah, good quality at bat by Bryson Bloomer. It's in the dirt. Got him. Inning over. Murray State leaves them loaded for the second time today. Big. Check swing. He held up. Ball four. Tying runs on to open the bottom of the eighth. Great plate appear. In the air. Deep right center field. Did he do it again? Yes, he did. Robert Moore gives the Razorbacks the lead with his second homer of the game. The little man with some big pop, Robert Moore. You can see his excitement. That got those the crowd off their seats and on their feet. And look how big that walk was by Zach Gregory. Hogs up seven to six, and Robert Moore does it again. That ball was hit pretty well. But Anders does a great job of getting back on that baseball. It doesn't get out by much. Got him looking. Wow, nice changeup. Pulled the string at 82. Country. Wins it. Wiggins with the strikeout to close it in a 1-2-3 ninth inning. Arkansas comes back from three down. They are 8-0 oh to open the season.